Welcome back to our rewilding series. In this episode, we will be discussing another UK rewilding case. In this video, we'll be discussing the Eurasian beaver. Beavers are the world's second largest rodent. They have a robust body, a short neck and short limbs. They have large flattened scale covered tails and webbed hind feet. They can grow to a length of up to a metre, plus a tail length of 30 centimetres, and weigh between 25 to 30 kilograms. Eurasian beavers have an average lifespan of 7 to 8 years. Globally, the Eurasian beaver is of least concern on the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. However, in Scotland they are endangered, and in England, critically endangered. Beavers are perhaps the poster species of rewilding, and after an absence of over 400 years, the world's second largest rodent is back in the UK. After several planned and unplanned releases in Scotland, the beaver is now considered once again a native species and has legal protection. Beavers are considered ecosystem engineers. They change the landscape and restore it to a more natural state. They can create pools which benefit several other species, including amphibians, fish, grass snakes and countless others. The beaver's influence on rivers can also reduce flooding downstream as they effectively slow down the flow of water. The reintroduction of beavers is a classic example of why we must consider stakeholders when rewilding. For example, in Scotland, where releases were planned, they are generally supported. However, unplanned releases led to conflict with landowners as livelihoods were affected, resulting in beavers being shot. Thankfully, there are now plans to translocate beavers rather than cull them. According to Rewilding Britain, plans to reintroduce beavers into the wild in England have been set out by the UK government in a consultation as part of moves to help tackle the nature and climate emergencies. The native animals are also to be given legal protection in England, which will make it an offence to capture, kill, disturb or injure beavers or damage their breeding sites or resting places without a licence from Natural England. It seems there are big plans afoot for the amazing Eurasian beaver and we fully support the rewilding of this species to the UK. Have you ever been lucky enough to see beavers in the wild in the UK? Where did you see them? Comment below. Make sure to check out our other episodes in our rewilding series and we'll see you in the next episode where we will be discussing the white stork.